This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business in Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. Yeah, hi, Pete. First of all, thanks for having me on your show. It's a real pleasurable honor. Uh, I'm Alexander Trost, originally from Germany, but living since more than two decades in Asia now, mostly in Singapore. And I live by the personal motto that serenity is the true source of life energy. And I'm driven by the mission to make a positive difference in the lives of people and organization by intentionally being different. What do I mean by that? I want to help people to live life with more bliss, ideally live a life they don't need a leave from by giving them different perspectives, maybe thoughts they have never thought about, um, and just helping them to look at things differently. I strongly believe that people are generally good and want to change. I have just realized that uh, sustainable behavior change is so, so difficult and frustrates a lot of people. So I want to help to make this journey a more pleasant one. Well, Alexander, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Question number two, what is something that makes you smile and or laugh about working in your industry? Yeah, what makes me always smile is when I see the smile in, in people's faces, with this light bulb, when they then say, oh, wow, I have never looked at it that way. And you can literally feel how a lot of weight comes off their shoulders and how all these tight knots are untying. Uh, what makes me laugh sometimes is when I see how serious people take themselves. Um, but I always try to help them by saying it's never about the situation. It's always about our reaction. And once we can look at situations with some more humor and maybe even laugh about ourselves, everything just becomes so much easier. Mm -hmm. And, I, and it, when people see that uh, you laugh at yourself, you become more approachable. Am I right? Yeah, definitely. It's great. Question number three. I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? Yeah, great book, great question. And I listened in some of your podcasts before, and I think most of your guests go eventually to the people chapter. Um, and I shall be no different. I just maybe want to approach it a little bit different by starting with a quote from Simon Sinek, who says, um, um, you cannot understand business if you don't understand people. And I would actually go a step further and say, actually, there is no real business. Everything is about people because everything in your business is done by people. Every single business transaction is done by people. Even if it's um, automated, um, those systems are maintained by people. So I would say that there is no real leading business, but leading people is the serious business. And once as a leader, you make everything around people, your business will flourish, I would almost say automatically. And there are some other famous people who have um, nice fitting quotes, like for instance, I think it was Theodore Roosevelt who said that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Uh, or um, Sir Richard Branson saying, take care of your people and they will take care of your business. Those are both great quotes as well. I love them. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Uh, yeah, in line with what I said just now, I would first remind them that maybe you're not really a business leader, but a people leader. Yeah, So really make it all about the people. And then I might introduce in my, um, my very own model, the three C's of leadership, because I believe uh, at the end of the day, everything in leadership boils down to three roles, which I coined as the three C's, the character, the compass, and the coach. So I strongly believe as a leader, firstly, you have to work on your character much more than on your personality. Make sure that you have great core values, that you know about them, and that every day you bring you back to those values, what you stand for. Secondly, translate those values into guiding principles, principles that guide you, that make you concurrent and that make you very authentic as a person. Secondly, be a compass rather than a navigation system. I think a lot of leaders tend to navigate people, to micromanage them, to tell them every single step, whereas a compass just, to just shows the direction and then lets people take their, their own way. And only once they are lost, they might look at the compass again, how they are doing. And last but not least, be a coach. Uh, I think very often leaders think they have to have all the answers. They have to constantly give advice. But if you have a coaching mindset as a leader, I think you are much, much stronger, which means firstly, listen, listen with empathy, listen to really understand rather than to reply. Secondly, ask the right questions. 
Yeah, as Voltaire said, don't judge a man by his answers, but rather by his questions. And last but not least, really invest a lot of time in people to find out their individual talent and deploy the people according to their talent. And I think this is where coaches are really great in. And I strongly believe that those difficult employees became difficult over time because maybe they have not been well enough coached. Mm -hmm. I think that's very insightful. And, and that coaching mindset is so important than, than so many managers who think that they have to be very directive to their, to their people. But if they can coach them, they tend to support them st more strongly and help those, those people who work for them uh, learn on their own and be able to grow exponentially. Would you agree? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's great. Question number five, what other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? Uh, actually, quite a few. Uh, so if it's okay with you, I would get back to you on that. No problem. Uh, no problem with that. Question number six, please tell me about your first job. Um. Yeah, my first job um, was actually as an in-house consultant. Um, but um, maybe what I would like to share is not so much about the job itself, but how I got there. Because um, in, in my whole life, I uh, had only one interview. Yeah, I sent out only one resume. And practically directly from university, I went into that job. And all my friends are saying, uh, are you crazy? You have to check your market value. You have to compare. You have to look at other companies. But I just felt everything was so great with that company, how I was treated, the offer they made, and it just felt good. And I was listening to my gut feeling rather than to my mind. Um, and, and it turned out to be great. And I, and I never looked back. And I think um, we are too often comparing things and thinking the grass is greener on the other side. And, and with this, we never become really happy because we always think, oh, should I have gone there? Should I have done that? Uh, and even if I looked at two, three other companies, I might still have asked, did I make the right choice? So um, I think the gut feeling is sometimes a very great compass and navigator. And if you listen to this a bit more often and just do what feels right and then stick to the decision and go for it, this helped for me quite a lot. And that was a great experience, which I had right with my first job. Oh, I like that. It's a great story. Thank you so much for sharing it. And Alexander, thank you so much for being on the show. How can people find you? Uh, my pleasure. I mean, I'm on LinkedIn, Alexander Trost. Um, I have a website, uh, advisor.com. Um, yeah, that's basically it, I think. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business in Life podcast. Get hundreds of amazing business insights from previous guest episodes on your favorite podcast app. Thanks for listening. <laughs>